Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so today I will review with you all the trade of last week. We will review today the swing trading trades of last week. Let's start with GBP odd. So as you can see on my chart, so my vertical line, yellow line is the beginning of the week and we switch on the 4 hour chart. As you can see, there is an arrow going down which means for me, my assessment of the power was going down since I saw this weak move going up but in fact I was wrong so market broke my first level my yellow line right here and after it reversed before the second line so when the price reverses before the line I don't take the trade that's the principle I wait the line to be broken by some pips sometimes 10 20 depending on the volatility and to create a pattern before I take it in the opposite way and as you can see my assessment was wrong, so when the first line was broken, it was broken by a big candle right here. And when the level went back to it, without touching it, it created an engulfing candle right here. So actually, if you see this, and if you are experienced, you could have taken the trade in the opposite direction. Also knowing that there is this trend line, the white line right here, which is broken on the 4-hour chart, which is quite important and when it touches the trend line again make an angle thing up you can re-enter at the retest of this Fibonacci level for example and this trade would have a stop loss of 63 pips so I would maybe not have taken this one since the stop loss is very big but it made already 220 pips so it's a winning trade anyway so on GBP odd following the strategy and following the arrow of the strength of the market there was no trade for this uh, specific pair. Now let's look at Euro odd. So Euro odd, as you can see, I have arrows on both direction, which means if price come to touch this line, violate and create a pattern, we enter for a buy. And if price violate this this level, for example, which is a strong trend line on the weekly, and create a pattern, we will sell. And as you can see it break it with a big body candle so this is a breakout and there is no pattern forming so we don't take this trade and now the price is at the next level and the candle finish in 17 minutes and it will be a pin bar so eventually you can place a trade and since the candle is very big like 150 pips it's a bit much I would take the retracement entry which give me 75 pips and uh, my target is 210 pips. Your odd is quite volatile, so it might achieve it. So that's it. So last week, the week start here, finish here, there is no trade for this specific pair. So as you can see, there is arrow on both directions on this pair too. And last week, which is this period right here, nothing touch. So nothing. And this morning it touched create a large week and this candle is a big too much big for me so I will not enter anyway. Let's look at odd GPY. So odd GPY. Arrows on both directions as you can see. I can see that the price might go up because it's a very very strong level of support and resistance right here. So we move on the forward chart. But last week nothing really touched creating a pattern for us so we have no trade here it was a week after the 15th of august so i believe a lot of people are on holiday especially the big money so we are now on odd new zealand um, so let's switch to for our chart between the separator nothing touch and the strength was up because we are obviously in an uptrend so this level is a very strong level of interest for me if it touch there is a 500 moving average right here plus a strong level of daily and weekly support so with a nice candle like this if it creates a nice pin bar at this level I will buy it surely I think on the pair we just see this is the best opportunity so far we have access to and might touch today or tomorrow so just a reminder I published this profile last week 
uh, actually the week before on Sunday, before the week starts, and we are watching now what touch and what are the profitable opportunities there. So we are on OTCHF right now, and OTCHF it's an interesting case. As you can see, my arrow is going down, so the power of the market for me was assessed as a downtrend. And the price make an attempt to go to the white line right here two times and this is the third time. So for me I would not have taken any of those trades because they didn't touch the level. But when you are more experienced what you can see just after that is a nice engulfing candle right here and when this candle close for me it means that the market now even if it didn't touch my level will go down. So you can place for example I'll put it in blue a retracement entry around between 38 and 50% Fibonacci stop loss is right here and the target profit is already made because it was three times so this is like 25 maximum pips actually it made 140 pips at the beginning of the market today and as you can see the candle are very being very very strong going down so it might continue down so that was a trade that didn't really touch the level but with a strong engulfing candle like that that engulf all the previous congestion right here this candle right here is engulfing everything so when this candle appears of course I place an automatic entry at the 30 between the 38 and the 50 Fibonacci my stop loss here and it's a winning trade let's go now on Oddcat so so far just following exactly the basic rule of the profile nothing touch on odd pair. Let's move on. Odd USD. Odd USD, there is some more interesting case. So let's move in a, a bit so we have more clarity. So as stated before, this line and this line right here are the period separator on the 4 chart, which means this is one week. So during this week, nothing touch. But this one reversed just before creating a dodgy and after the price go up widely. So this trade doesn't fit the criteria but it's a reversal just before the level. So when you see this one appearing, this touch the level exactly but create a dodgy equal distance of the week up and down. So this is not a real good uh, candle to enter trade and eventually if you want to enter this trade you will place your entry as a breakout of this candle right here and you only enter when this candle is broken up which didn't happen so you don't place anything there and then you have only doji but not really pin bar forming and after the price breakdown so you have no really opportunity to enter any trade at this level even if it touch one two three times before breaking so there is still no trade on this specific chart now let's look on CAD, gold, etc. pair. So let's go on the forward chart. So gold, as you can see right here, last week, nothing touch. But what is interesting to notice is this level was a weaker level. But it's a daily. It's a daily level of support and resistance right here. You have a level right here. And if you move on the forward chart, this level is the one that I'm talking about right here. When we analyze this level, you can see during last week there is this doji, this half pin bar right here, doji, doji, breaking up. And then after, we have an, a nice bullish angle thing. This is a pin bar, a bullish pin bar, which is a strong signal to buy. So if you want, you could have taken the entry at the retracement of this specific bar right here. Your stop loss would have been a bit below to avoid any stop hunt and as you can see this trade made your stop loss would have been 70 pips 78 and until this morning the opening of the market it made 500 pips which is nearly nine times your risk so this trade is very very powerful but this level was not there so it's for more uh, experienced trader just for you to understand how this works price test the level can't break it test the level can't break it and test the level one last time and after fly up so on gold no trade depending on the strategy but for more advanced traders there was still opportunity there now let's look on Singapore JPY so 
on this pair the strain my arrow was down so you expect to sell and during the week nothing touched so there is nothing to to check there now let's check chf correlated with gold and singapore same for our chart so it touched on friday it made a, a nice pin bar but the size of the pin bar is very little so when the size of the pin bar is very little i enter at the breakout i don't enter half of it which means i would have placed my entry right here it didn't trigger and uh, this is a no trade for this pair too now let's look on CHF JPY but same during last week we could have played if you are more advanced with the Fibonacci but you there is no trade on my yellow line CAD JPY same no line touch CHF JPY by CHF JPY you have the same pattern than the one we see on uh, odd pair which means you have first rejection right here near the level my white line white means the line is a bit weaker than the yellow line L yellow is the strongest white is a bit weaker but since we are with the trend they are they can be very good opportunity to to trade and as you can see there is a 200 moving average my white line right here 200 moving average plus this line and the price doesn't succeed to reach it and after what it makes it makes an angle thing and a railroad track one bar big body going up one bar big body going down nearly same size so after when you see that there is an opportunity to, to enter at the retrace right here stop loss right here and this would have been a winning trade that's more for more advanced trader i advise only if you have a very strong candle like this angle thing or railroad track at the end of a consolidation like that now let's move on europe so euro pair, euro usd nothing touch only this morning creating a pin bar in six minutes but since this candle is very very big uh, i will not take this one the strength of the market is changing so euro cad euro cad euro cad euro cad there is a trade the first real trade using the profile of last week so there is an arrow going down so which means the power is going down it also means that you don't take this trend line, you don't take it as a buy because the strength of the market is going down. So you want to take on this level and that's exactly what happened right here. You have a doji touching the level, the candle are not very big so I took a breakout entry right here. My stop loss is here and it made two and a half. But what is nice is you can you could have taken your profit when you see that the trend line is really reacting and pushing back the, the price, which make already two and a half uh, reward. And also you could have traded your stop at the next swing, which is right here. So in no case you should have lost this trade and in you should have likely win 2.5 reward on this specific trade. So for me, it's still a winning. And after, as you can see, it breaks the level. So the strength of the market might change right now. Let's look at Euro CHF. So Euro CHF was the last week trades. My yellow dotted line was the entry of last week. So you could have had a trade running from last week with a point of entry right here, stop loss right here, and it means it's a winning trade from last week. That win only at the end of this specific week. But for this week, since we see the power is still going down, it didn't touch any of our lines, so there is no trade to take now euro new zealand uh, euro new zealand so euro new zealand there is a losing trade the power of the market is going down so whatever lines if it creates a four hour patterns you take the trade that's what happened exactly right here it created an angle thing candle going down so you enter as a retracement your stop loss is here and this trade is a losing trade so so far Following the profile, you have only one one trade winning, one trade losing. And what you can see, which is interesting on this uh, specific trade, is this level is broken up. And the price come back to it, but create a dodgy. After it create another dodgy. So if you are a bit more risky, you could have taken an, a breakout entry right here. And this trade would have made you already... So the stop loss is around 50 pips and this morning it went all up into 200 pips. So this trade is a, is a huge win. But even if you have stopped the trade on Friday night, 
you would have made uh, tech tech one and a half reward and if you let it you win four or five reward so that's it so that's for your New Zealand let's look at your GPY I don't count the winning eh, on the swing it was a riskier entry and not following the strain so so far one win one loss following the profile so on your GPY sorry but so we are with the trend my yellow dotted line is a very strong level of support and resistance which means you can take it both way when it's broken significantly which is the case right here right here big candle going down so this level right here is broken down so when it come back to it and create this nice dodgy right here you can take a breakout trade putting a stop loss right here and it is uh, like uh, tac, 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 29 pips so it's not so much big stop loss and it made on Friday 93 which is a winning trade on Friday making 3 reward so this is taking with the profile a second win of the week that you could have taken on Monday Monday early London session and that's it, that's the only line that touched for Euro GPY. Now let's look at Euro Singapore. So Euro Singapore, my strength of the market is up. And we have one losing trade right here. Because there is a pin bar right here and there is an angle thing right here. So if you enter half of the body here, this spike right here would have stopped you out. So what I what I have done last week about this specific uh, scenario is I count it as one loss anyway and when I enter this engulfing half size it put me out and after it creates this nice pin bar and the pin bar body doesn't close below my horizontal line which is a strong level of support. So when I see that I put another entry at the at the end of this specific uh, pin bar, the white one, and my stop loss is way below. So this is a second entry, you can do it, but it's a bit riskier. So I will not count this win, but I just explained to you that you could have re-entered this one. And also, so this one made a pin bar, which is against your trade, so you could have had some doubt at this specific point. And as you can see, there is the 800 moving average, the 100 moving average, and the weekly trend line, and a level of support and resistance at the same point. So when the price get out of this specific zone, it makes usually a very huge move. And that's what happened. The price make a bullish pin bar for me right here. And when this bullish pin bar is broken up, it made with one candle it made 85 pips, and until this morning it made 160, so double. And if you have entered your re-entry right here, your stop loss would have been around uh, let's say maximum 20 pips, and you made uh, 80, so four times your risk. And maybe if you let it run until this morning, it made around eight, uh, eight, nine times your risk actually, which is very, very huge. So that's it. So I just ca count one loss, but I, I personally re-entered at the next when it broken this, uh, this candle and creating a pin bar. So let's look at Euro Hong Kong. Nothing touch. Let's look at GBP. So GBP USD, the first. So GBPUSD was just touching a monthly support the week before, so I was expecting the price, maybe it's, personally I was expecting the price to retouch the level before going up, but it went up anyway. So that's why my strength is going down, and it broke with a white candle, so there is no pattern, but there is still one of my moving average, nice moving average, my 200 right here, this is a 200 moving average, which is confluent with this 50 and 61 Fibonacci level and the price made a little pin bar very short stop loss and you could have made one or two reward but since you know this level is broken the strength of the market is changing from going down to going up so you take less reward and this is a riskier entry so I don't um, I don't count it I just explain to you how it works and also it made the rail railroad tracks at this point it made the railroad tracks up which means the uh, strength of the market now is changing to going up and that's exactly what happened but the 200 still holds the price right here and the price has still a chance to make maybe a double top right here and fall down in my mind i still expect the price to go all the way to my yellow line at the bottom and make a nice retest right here 
before it lifts up. That's my expectation for this specific week. Now let's look on GBP CHF. And what happened? So during the week, nothing touched on the downside, and on the upside, this one a very nice one. So as you can see, you have my strong level of support, my yellow line right here. And just above you have the 200 moving average, and the price uh, faked the level of resistance to touch the moving average. And at the moving average, it made dodgy, and after the dodgy are very little, so I don't like to enter so much little candle. So I would have waited this specific pin bar, bearish pin bar, which is more powerful than the bullish pin bar in this specific scenario when you want to sell. And your entry is maybe a bit at the retracement, but since you have the 200 moving average, which is strong right in the middle, the price didn't succeed to make 50%, and it's a breakout trade. And uh, you have like 42 pip stop loss, and it made this morning 110, so it's nearly 3 reward already. And I think it will continue to fall a little, but you can at least put your stop loss to break even, so you will not lose the trade, and you have the possibility to win. Three rewards, so that was a good example of a trade. Following my arrow, so the strength of the market for me is still going down until it make a double bottom on the daily, at least. Let's look at GBP CAD. So GBP CAD, there were there were more activity last week. So as you can see, the strength is down, was forecasted down, and the price created a nice dodgy right here just after touching the line and the 200 is just above so my stop loss would have been at the top of this and I would have taken the dodgy as a breakout style as I do and it made 2.5 reward right here and when it makes this nice pin bar maybe I would have exited right here which make around 2, two reward on this trade which is quite good for the swings trading strategy if you see a 4 hour candlestick pattern that is against you, um, be careful to take profit or put your stop loss to break even so at least you will not lose any trade or few trade. So that's it. Then we have a second level but it didn't create any pattern for me uh, validating. This is a bullish pin bar, nearly didn't touch it. And this is a doji, the body of the previous candle is very big. So for me the strength, the strength of the market is still up. So no trade on the second line activated. No candlestick pattern. Now let's look at, and for the, this one, to be fair, I don't count this one, even if it's a winning one. So we have in the worst case scenario the account at the end. So strength is down, and we don't have so much uh, pattern. Oh, we have a pattern right here. We had actually, I took this trade, but I exited a bit early. So what happened? The strength is down, but we have a strong level of support right here. Rejected multiple time on the forward chart. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And price come to it and create a nice pin bar. So my entry was right here. At the end of this pin bar, my stop loss was right here. And I expect 3 times. Actually, it made 3 times, but I wanted to get more. And I put my stop loss right here just below this candle when it's formed and the price took me out right here so it took a little profit but it already made three times your reward when you enter at the retracement of this nice pin bar right here on the forward chart so this is definitely a winning trade so so far we have three winning two losing and that's all that it did last week for this specific pair because we have a big breaking the level and after it's a doji so no pin bar no entry now let's look at gbp New Zealand, so power down and up, didn't touch any downward line, and after it breaks this line very strong, this one is a riskier trade, you could have made two reward in this one, taking the breakout, 150, 70 pips this morning, and stop plus 60, oh it made actually three reward this morning at the opening of the market, but it was a counter train, so I don't count this, uh, this trade. Now let's look at GBP Singapore. Oh, this is very nice this morning. So, price, my strength is up and also down when it will touch those line. And that's exactly what it did this morning. And you have the possibility to enter right now with the retracement of this line, which is 40 pips stop loss. And you will 
look for 120 pips at the target profit, which is before the 200 EMA and the 50 EMA, which is nice. It might touch very quickly. But this touch this morning at the opening, so I don't talk about this so much. What I will talk about is this white line right here, which was exactly last week. So all the GBP pairs made similar pattern at the same time, huh? but this one is a nice pin bar right here, as you can see. And you can take the retracement of the pin bar, the 50 level was available right here, or you can take the breakout. And both of these trade are winning trade, as you can see the price made uh, 5, 6 uh, reward already. So this is a winning trade on GBP Singapore. So, so far we have 4 winning and 2 loss, with 3 reward minimum each. I didn't count the one that has lower reward than that. Now let's look on Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, this one was counter trend, but it was a perfect trade. It made a nice pin bar right here. You can take a bit retracement or break out of this pin bar, and it made like stop loss maximum 44, and it made 114, which is a bit uh, like 2.8 reward. But since you know there is a nice level of support right here, and the strength is up, you could have taken your profit right here, which is 2.5 reward. And additional to that, there is the real trade, which is this one. So there is a nice week right here, and after there is a very little candlestick compression right here. I took a breakout, my stop loss is here, my entry is here, and it made so far, tack, so 23 pip stop loss, and it made 40. So we have around 2 reward right now, and price is continuing to go up. So I think it's a good opportunity to make 3 reward. If not, you put your stop loss right now at the break even, so you will not lose anything. Now let's look at GBP try. So GBP try was a very nice here, but this one is a losing trade. It made a dodgy, touched the level, and made only one reward. So my stop loss wouldn't have moved yet in break even, and after it break up. So we have three loss, four win, four times three. So equivalent of 12 win and 3 loss, which is very nice. Now let's look at NZD pairs. NZD, nothing touch on my yellow or white line, just the Fibonacci, so it's more advanced. And let's look at... Uh, tac, 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 tac. So NZD CAD. Alors, this was interesting. So I, I have a, an arrow going up and I have an arrow going down right here. Which means the price might lift up from this specific level. That's what I expect. But, price come here, make a dodgy, break up, without touching. But as you can see right here, there is a round number, a very big round number. So actually, I took this trade and I took two reward because the strength of the market was still down and it rejects well to this specific 50 EMA. So I took and win this trade, but I don't count it. And after the price rejects again the round number, but not my level, and after it breaks the level, so there is no trade to take right here because it didn't touch the level. And after, if you would have entered at the exit of the doji, it didn't trigger. At the exit of this specific doji, it didn't trigger on the next candle. So I would have moved again my entry right here, my stop loss right here. And it made so far around 1, it made 58. And the stop loss would have been, sorry, 23. So it made two rewards so far. So my entry was at the breakout of this doji, my stop loss is right here. And when this one made a pin bar right here, and this angle thing, I move my stop loss right here. So with the gap, I might have lose this trade with the slippage during the weekend. So it's a weekend and it's August, so there is more risks that on Monday there is more slippage. So maybe you wouldn't have hold your trade during the weekend. But as you can see, the price make this morning a nice pin bar right here. So now the price might lift up. And I told you it's a monthly level of support, so I expect really price to go up after that. Actually, it could have been even a good entry right now. Now let's look at NZD CHF. So NZD CHF, same applies. There is strain going up and going down. So why going up? Because this very strong angle thing and there was a very nice power going up and the trend generally is going down. That's it. So, price didn't touch this white line and made a range just above it. 
So for me, this line, except if it makes a very nice pin bar, I don't take it. Touching it, eh, of course. And then what happened this morning is the price touched my yellow line, which is a monthly right here, and made this very powerful pin bar. So this is a very great sin signal to buy. You can buy at the breakout and you place your stop maybe at 70% so you don't get triggered if the price retraces to 60 Fibonacci. And uh, this is a good trade to go up. But so far I don't count because it didn't happen last week. So our account for last week is still 4 win 3 loss. Now let's look at NZD JPY. This was a very nice trade also that we miss. Oh yeah, it's a very nice level of monthly support that it touched exactly this morning. I'm not lying, it touched exactly the level and made a move already of 90 pips in less than one or two hours, which is quite awesome. And uh, so, strength of the market, downtrend, but this level made a nice rejection so I was expecting a buy, but price, as you can see, never touch the level creating a 4 hour pattern so I I didn't take any trade on this specific level and after it breaks right here so I was expecting this level which made a nice spin bar but since this spin bar is 90 pips tall I will not take it what I wait now is a retest of this level with a candlestick pattern that is around 40 pips so I can get my stop loss with better expectation for my target profit or the more aggressive entry is to take the breakout anyway and to put your stop loss at around more than 61% so you have less chance to be triggered but still it's a lot of uh, pips already it's still 50 pips stop loss I'm not so much comfortable with around 50 and above pips I prefer 20, a nice 20 or 30, 40 for the more volatile, volatile and that's it so what about NOC GPY? Nothing touched last week. And now finally we arrive to the USD pairs. So the USD DKK, nothing happened, only Fibonacci. So let's move on. SEC GPY, nothing. USD ZAR, we are on the weekly, so last week nothing touched. USD Singapore, oh, this line was nice. I wasn't expecting to take it, but it made a very nice reaction. So I will not count it, but you can see the very nice pattern here. Oh, actually, you could count it, because you have an arrow here saying that the strain is up. So this yellow line dotted means it can be taken as a support and resistance once broken. Uh, but it means also it has it might have been touched so much, so much time, so you should be careful when you place a trade there. But look at what happened. It make a nice hammer right here. And after this hammer, if you are conservative, you can take a breakout of this hammer and it made largely more than 3 reward. So it's a nice winning trade. I don't count it, I just explained to you. Since it's a dotted yellow line, I don't count it. Now let's look at USD CHF. So this touched some line last week. And uh, actually there might be a winning trade right here. So price touch here. So last week you would have en you could have entered at the retracement of this one. So you have one loss. I, I will count this even if it's last week. It's the one one loss from last week. And after you can have this one make a nice pin up. And after you have this nice dodgy. So when this ma this dodgy is broken down, that's my entry and my stop loss is here. And it made tag so 13 pips and it made 32 so it's 2.5 reward um, what happened is when I see this candlestick at the 50 moving average right here it's an angle thing or railroad track if you want I exit exactly here or I put my stop loss just above right here which make one reward for this one so in any way you should not have lost this trade anyway it should be at break even or winning one reward. I don't count it, but I just explained to you this line. And the strength of the market was going down. Then, after we don't have anything. So, USD GPY. Strength is down, and also there is a monthly support. So, didn't touch anything during this range. Range all week. It just moved on Friday. And so on Friday, we have a nice dodgy here, but this candle is too powerful going down, so I don't take any reversal right here. But this level, this yellow line right here, which is a very strong monthly level, 
made a pin bar right here, a very strong pin bar, so same. If you are aggressive you could take the break of this pin bar and uh, stop loss around 70% of this pin bar and expect the price to fly up. Because as you can see this level is a very strong level of support and resistance that you can see on the monthly chart. So it might retest during the week so I will wait a retest myself to get a better entry there. But still I expect the monthly to reject nicely for a while. At least make three rewards so you are nearly sure to get your reward all the time. So on USDGPY, no trade to count last week. And finally, USD CAD. So USD CAD was a nice week. Well, it didn't reach any trade to sell, but it reached two times the uh, level to buy. So on Monday, it made this nice bearish pin bar right here. And you could have entered at the spin bar, that's what I did, and it was also a nice 59% Fibonacci. Or you can enter at the breakout, and if you enter the breakout, you get less reward, of course, around 2 reward. But if you get here, you get 5 reward. Let me check. 13 and 76. So you get more than 6 reward actually on this trade. So, which is good. And that's it for the profile. So, swing trading of last week. I repeat the profile was given on last Sunday before the week starts and we check how the trade uh, go along using the, the candlestick confirmation and following the strength of the market. I hope you enjoy. If you have any question ask me on Telegram or Discord and we will work together to make you more profitable with this. This definitely works every week so I even don't need to publish the score because every week it is profitable. So if you study this correctly, I believe you are on your way to financial freedom quite quickly. Have a nice day everyone. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.